Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm trying to actually do a real intro this time. And this time, second attempt at recording, we have Forty here from the channel Forty. Uh, he is. Uh, I mean, that was pretty self-explanatory, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he has. Uh, he has considerable number of subscribers. He's on his. He's on his way to a thousand. I know I have no influence whatsoever, but if you if you are not already subscribed to him, please go and check him out. He's a nice guy. He's a great guy. He streams pretty often, Aww, and I like. Thank him. you, man. Shut up. You, you only said get such one. Nice you only things. get. You only get one compliment. The... No, so you wait until this video ends, people. He's gonna shit on me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, anyway, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing truth and reconciliation today. Uh, let's first get our customization settings right. I'm not doing Craig this time. That was he got his own, he got his own personal uh, insight to me playing this mission. So again, oh yeah. The uh, again the magic has been slightly ruined as I have already seen this mission <clears throat> once. <laughs> Yeah, you've seen it once, but uh, once yeah. is never enough, especially when it's Halo. Yeah. So let's turn on, let's turn on rare player hints because apparently there's a lot more stuff that I have not any idea how it works. So maybe the hints might work. I might do good. Campaign installation zero four. We were on truth and reconciliation. Jeb. Low energy. No. Okay. Let's uh, let's go. Low energy. Low energy. He has low energy. I can't do it. All right, Stewie voice. Griffin, calm down. Yeah, but the <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but again, the the fourth, the new fourth uh, thing is here, and the fact that they took out easy just really shows how focused on difficulty SPV3 is. I am still yet to experience SPV3 on mobile. I've played it on heroic, and I nearly cried. <clears throat> so how, how how far have you gotten on that? Uh, five minutes in, and then I got really pissed off at a grunt, so I gave up. <laughs> Got real pissed at that grunt, my guy. Do you want to do a quick jump cut, buddy? No. I can't. It was my bad, it was on my end, sorry. I was like, I didn't, I was like, nothing I was like, bad happened. That's because your, your game came off my screen, but it's back now. I don't know, it was me, I had to click on something, I don't know. <laughs> I like these organic things, you don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. Because I don't It's fine. I'm not... It'll be fine, probably. I guess you kind of compare it to, right. like, Moist we Critical. Oh, to fuck, the visor's name. Without being God, I hate visor. Because I, I don't, I don't have, have a graphics card that can do the effects, so I can't pass. see shit. I recommend using oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. To take out the gunners while I call for marine support. Got it, Cortana. Wasn't listening. Can we not change Cortana's voice to sound like someone that isn't Jane Taylor, so she sounds like Michelle Obama or something? Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I don't think there are many, ah, many people who would want save their. The planet. I don't think there are many people who would. I'm going to save the planet. That's it. I'm going to save the planet. In the name of ruining kids' lunches. But oh, give for them fuck's sake. Free healthcare. Mm -hmm. It wasn't free healthcare. It was just a really shitty payment plan. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in American politics. This is Halo. <laughs> this is a is making debate. A run for that stationary gun. Take it out. <laughs> it's not a debate if you, say you don't take a position. Vin Petrol for president. Vin Petrol? What the fuck is that? It's Vin Diesel's alter ego. Vin Diesel? <laughs> you mean Vin Gas? Vin Gasoline. Vin, I have been indigestion. Gasoline! There you go, his gasoline. name's Gasoline. My gosh, I wish I'd done that from the beginning. What, say Gasoline or just hit the guy in the face? Because you no, just hit, caught hitting, him in the chin. Uh, using the pistol. Oh yeah. That shredder weapon these guys got is devastating. Yeah. I was using it in Firefight. It's scary. Yeah. Got him! Oh, beautiful stick. Look at that. Kobe Bryant over here. Uh, please don't say that. I don't want to die in a helicopter crash. Have you never heard of Colin McRae? Come on. <laughs> he did it before it was cool. He did it before it was cool. Damn. Oh, for God's sake. We're ready to as as you call for us, I'll tell you what, how have you missed him? How have you missed him four times? I've seen better shooting abilities from Colin McRae's helicopter pilot, man. Uh, the guy who killed Buddy Holly in the Big Bopper had better had better, uh, better hand-eye coordination than you did. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, I saw you on Halo 3 earlier. I was shocked. 
how bad I was? Yeah. I'm, what, I'm, were you, what, what were your I words? I love Halo. I love Halo, but I fucking suck lines. at it. Don't it was something stop along me. the lines of, I'm still shit, but not as shit as I used to be. <laughs> I never said that. No, you said to the point of um, of not being completely useless or something like that. Oh, I said I was. I'm, I said I was still completely useless. Ah. <clears throat> Fuck. Whoa. What the? What was that? Uh, it was a cluster grenade. Oh, is that the one that that's green that 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 um, like, opens up when you throw it? Yeah, that's a cluster grenade. Okay. See, now that I've played this game ever so slightly, only a little bit, I can now kind of understand a bit more what's going on. Because when I watched your first two episodes of this, I had no idea what was going on, and I was like, "Why is there a gun from Modern Warfare 2 in here? Like, what's going on?" There wasn't, by the way. <laughs> the gun you're holding now looks like something out of Call of Duty 4. Yeah, it does have that kind of aesthetic to it. Yeah. But, now that I've played some of this game, I'm really pissed off that the guy who developed this game stole my idea for Firefight. I'm fucking demon. <laughs> no, no, a lot of people have had the flood firefight idea. It's my idea. No, 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 it isn't. Stop stealing people's credit. Probably originated on some shitty forum somewhere. Oh look, tack pad. Oh, I wonder what it says on this. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we I've never we read this the... before. Read what? I've never read that data pad before. Okay, then you can read it on your playthrough. But right now, I I I'm know. A sarcasm. That... <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Oh, you guys don't get that, but I I just fucking got it. <laughs> Not a good headshot. That was a back shot and then a headshot. Well, you know. I mean. I'm not good at this game. You know this. No, you're all right. I've seen a lot worse. Put it that way. Cortana to fire team Charlie. Move up on the left. Fuck. Should be able to flank the enemy. Roger that. Plant him in chin. Oh no, you're gonna die. Move, move, move. We Dean. I'm stupid, that's, that's what happened. Fucking hell. I was like, <laughs> I'm watching your health and I'm like, why are you stood there taking these bullets? Do you think you're Iron Man? I am the ice cream man running over fat kids in my van. My van. When they scream, I run. When, when I scream, they run. I forgot the thing. It's been like, like what? Ten years since I last heard that song. <laughs> Where the fuck am I getting shot at from? Oh, there. Die. Yambo? Yambo! Who said Yambo? Are you kidding me? Recommend you move up the middle of my ass. Oh. Hello. Seems to have been alien dogs. Alien dogs? We like alien dogs. Can I call mine Terrence? His name is Billy Bob and you know this. Oh, that's Billy Bob. Ah, oh, right, okay. I thought that was your boyfriend, sorry. How dare you. You know I'm Christian. <laughs> <laughs> What does that have anything to do with it? <laughs> Take that active camo so that you can hide your I am shame. A, I am not a furry. <laughs> kill all the How, furries. Like, where, where are you getting this from? I'm so confused. We it's need to kill from, all the furries. It's gone from, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play SPV3 to I'm not gay, I'm Christian, and I don't like furries. <laughs> <laughs> We've been that, recording that's usually how it goes, for 10 Larry. minutes. That's usually how it, it was, goes, right? <laughs> we have another 45 minutes of this to go, and we're not even... We're, we're just getting started. That's usually how it goes, though, right? Well, I mean, I guess. <laughs> See? You can't deny the truth. I can't deny nothing, mate, mate. I'm fucking... I'm clapped. I'm done. Die, you brute. I've been on the road to 1,000 subs for 11 years. <laughs> You brutes, you filthy brutes. Literally. It's in order. It's in order. 
Oh fuck, what? Hit him over. What? Hit him hard, that's it, hit him harder, go on. Hit him hey. harder, hit him harder. Hey, hit Sorry. him harder. Sorry, hit him harder, dude. Hit him <laughs> harder, dude. Hit him like he was your stepwife. <laughs> No wait, step wife. What? Step wife. <laughs> what? What is this like? Poly polygamous relationship? I have no idea where that come from. No, it seemed like he good. was your stepchild. A, bis a bisexual poly polygamous relationship. Who hates furries? I just yeah, yeah. Who people. hates furries? The, the right kind. So far, you have offended about forty percent of the population in fifteen. Minutes. I think furries are are an, uh, they aren't a part of the human population. They don't recognize as it, so we don't acknowledge them as it either. <clears throat> Credit where credit's due. They don't have rights. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god, Jorko, <laughs> you're, you're taking this overboard. Can we just play Halo, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Halo was made for killing the furries. Look, I'm doing it right now. Actually, to be fair, when you do look at the enemies, I wonder if Bungie originally took some kind of inspiration, inspiration from the gays. From furries. From oh, the furries? furries? Sorry. To build the brutes. Yeah. But they, they just made them have really classic. Fluffy ape like people with three toes. Come on. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Shit. He might be. Got him. Raw, raw, Rasputin. Dapper. Raw, raw, Rasputin. Lover of the Russian queen. He was a cat that really was gone. Ra ra Rasputin, Russia's greatest love. I probably shouldn't be walking out. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, I'm just thinking about it. Maybe that Covenant ship is actually Russia in 2552. Yeah, they Think they, about they, it. they were they the were exiled from Russian. there. They were exiled from the Kievan Rus, and we, we forced them to go onto migratory ships. The prophet of truth is Kim Jong Un. If he was an alien. I don't think he's Russian. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm taking it completely like straight onto dictatorship now. It's not communism. It's it's just a, it's it's a massive dictatorship. It's no, you mean oligarchy. <laughs> Whatever tickles your pickle, I guess. <laughs> Do you not know what oligarchy is, my my broken? Uh, I'm afraid not, because as I have said to you on multiple occasions, my brain is the size of a double A battery. Of a double A battery. <laughs> it requires two of them to power it, and I haven't even got one. I haven't even got a single battery. <laughs> El brain no life. work. Me no understand though. Right. El Braino is sleepy time. <laughs> El El Diablo. <laughs> El Di Braino. El Diablo. <laughs> okay, if I remember correctly, normally there's about three waves of enemies on this, but I can guarantee because it's SPV3, there's going to be about 900. Yeah. That's a very interesting way of using the gravity grenades. I guess. Oh, I mean, you—they—they—they they, they activate the moment they hit something, so they could hit something in the air, and then you'd have this gravity well that just sort of hangs in the air and can fuck people over who are like, you know, oh, could fuck over so they're impact grenades, technically. Yeah, technically. I think the first impact grenades were disc grenades created by the Germans. Like, technically World speaking, they—they they are impact grenades, really. Yeah. I think it, I think they were first made, impact grenades were first came about in World War One. It was like a disc shaped grenade that the uh, Germans made. Them. What a surprise! What a surprise! I don't know where this my is... OTSTs went. They aren't dead. I didn't see any of them die. This ain't their speed bomb. We don't need to kill Marines. Fucking beam rifle. I've got a good question for you while you kill all these elites. What? What's the favorite thing, your, your favorite thing that 343 Industries implemented into their version of Halo compared to Bungie's? Hmm. Can you name one thing? Can it be, can it be a part of the story? Yeah, yeah, anything. Yeah, I suppose so, I yeah. think... Okay, so, so not disregarding Halo 5, I think the way that they handled the... Uh, the way that they handled post-war humanity was real good. I think that post-Human Covenant War, they were able to rise up much bigger than they were. It was very interesting, sort of, as if not cliche, very interesting way of handling, like, 
Yo, humanity was literally pushed to the brink. I know it wasn't conveyed that well in the games, but the last bastion of humanity was Earth at one point. Yes, that is true. And I think the Bungie games didn't do a good a good way of uh, of of really establishing humanity's position in the galaxy. Yeah, they did. They didn't really get to show not well, not showcase, but kind of uh, give screen time to show how lots what desperate. We all we all we really know is that the is that the covenant is at a much higher technological level than humanity. Not necessarily that they're constantly winning. I mean, we we get we get dialogue there, but it isn't shown. Yeah. Like Halo Reach was the closest we got because the whole thing was humanity's losing. And then yeah. Halo and Reach a, is like Reach is our last hope besides Earth. This yeah, is it. Yeah. Like we got this a whole it, it was it was every our ODSTs are finally catching up. I hope. Took a sweet time. What do they have? A fucking McDonald's on the way through. Where did they find one? And can I have one? Can I have one? <laughs> did they find one during Oh the no, it was these things. The ODSTs are dead. Okay, got it. <laughs> Just gonna assume they're dead. Yeah, we don't yeah. like them anyway. It's fine. No, like, it's just intriguing because a lot of people give the three four three game a lot of a lot of flack. Some of it well deserved. Yeah, I and understand that. They don't do what we did for the franchise. Yeah. Like they they did do a lot of good things in my opinion and in a lot of other people's opinions. But all people do are instantly slam it because it's not Bungie. It's not how Bungie did it, and it's like. Well, a lot yeah, of other games they're not that Bungie. same thing. It's like, it's like, it's not, not how Bungie did it. Yeah, they're not Bungie. They're not going to do it the way Bungie did it. And here's the thing is that the way that they did do it, in some aspects, was a total was a total incorrect left turn right off a fucking bridge. And other, and other, other turns they made were actually pretty good. Like, for example, I loved seeing a more personalized Master Chief. I know it's like, I know people were like, well, I want to I be able to relate to Master Chief. Well, yeah, you can. But the thing is, is that now you have to you have to acknowledge at some point for it to be satisfactory to people who like who like the lore and who like it to be like well he never had a childhood everything was taken from him so that he could become a spartan and at the behest of someone of an entirely inhuman entity or, or well impersonal entity in, in oni and that's gonna have consequences and i think they i think they explored some of it pretty well in, in halo 4. i think halo 5 they kind of fucked it Halo 5, to me, it was it showed off that every other Spartan in the program was human and Chief had just gone do Lally as if he was a robot. <clears throat> yeah. That, that, that's what they tried to do. They tried to show, like, they showed his emotional side in Halo 4. And Halo 5, they wanted to go, oh, look, because he's not got Cortana with him, he's lost his mind. And yeah. I think that was a very wrong approach to make because you set a, a linear Halo game, so a game that is set in canon, like in the lore, and it's gonna be there forever now. Yeah. That had nothing really to do with Master Chief's story apart from yeah. everybody else hunting him down and apparently he's gone AWOL. Like yeah. it just doesn't really make a lot of sense when you look at the previous games. Yeah, and, and here's the thing is that when you look at the lore it kinda makes it would like the idea of Master Chief going up to, to do his own thing would make sense in the in the idea that he's a child soldier. He and all his fellow Spartans are child soldiers. Child soldiers, like in real life, have significant psychological issues later in life, and even oh, yeah. I mean, because they've been bred for war. They literally, like, uh, I can't remember. It's like their their uh, capacity for empathy. One of the things that, that you do that that you know warlords do when they take when they take child soldiers, and make they take children, and make soldiers out of them. Oh fuck no, is uh -oh. Is they is they basically <laughs> decrease their ability for empathy? Their emotions become non-existent. That's the thing. Yeah, they're built, because they're built because, like machines, yeah. but they do still possess these emotions. But it's only yeah, but they're incredibly repressed, and they don't know what to do with them. He, like, ever seen a, a confused teen? Take that, but he but he's trained to kill people. Pretty much, and he gets to wear a cool suit. Yeah, and he gets AI booty. But also, that's... he probably takes a piss in his in his uh, in his uh, uniform. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But the thing that I that I saw that three four three did was they explored that the chief at the end of the day he is still a human, and like you said, he's a child soldier, has a lot of issues, and they kind of played on the fact that he kind of grew attached to Cortana. And people say about this, they say, oh, three four three made it all like that, but Halo three did that. Halo three was all about him finding Cortana. And him like not being able to function correctly without her in in the back of his head. So, where's the problem? 
Yeah. Because all of the three, um, sorry, the entirety of the Halo 3 campaign is based on looking for Cortana, making sure she's safe and all this. And then they do 343 game where it's like, okay, we've just spent the entire game looking for her. We're not just going to cut her off the screen. We're going to give her screen time. She's a key part of the story. Ooh. How did you ma How? How? She's a core you part, yeah. You don't know. But yeah, you can't exactly um, just go, oh, yeah, we're going to uh, like write her off now because we found her and that's it. But, like, if you're going to continue that story and continue that, that, that saga, she's now a key element. Oh, come you spent on, really? Again? Oh, for God's sake, this is normal as well, people. He's not yeah. very good at this. Yeah, I know. But it's like, you can't I don't have any aid. Like, write off such a key character. It's like, in Infinite, they can't just write off Spartan Lock now, as much as people love him or hate him. Yeah. You can't just write him off screen now. He's got to have some role. You also he's, can't he's part just. Of it. Yeah, yeah. You, you also can't just. Uh, I don't know what the, how to make it the proper word. You can't just um, change Ignore. the character so silly, so in such a yeah. silly way. No, I agree 100 percent with your point there because I I just feel like since 343 Industries took over Halo. Yes, Halo 4, people didn't like the multiplayer and things like that, but I enjoyed the story, and everyone I talk to say, yeah, we like the story. And a lot of people go back to Halo 4 now, and go, I don't know why we talked so much crap about it on release, because it's not as bad as I remember it. That's yeah. what everyone says, it's not as bad as I remember It's because they're it's coming because off they of the high, uh, first off, they're coming off the high of Halo 3, you know. And also the fact that it was a new developer, and there was automatically some stick there. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Because it's like, oh wow, it's like if you gave, you took Grand, you said right, Rockstar Games no longer developed Grand Theft Auto. That is now going to be handed to Gearbox Software, for example. The people yeah, they behind all the, They could do the best. Uh, they well, not the best. They could do a great, a great, uh, 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 oh, a proper word. A passable, a good, a good, a, a, a fine Grand Theft Auto game, but it still wouldn't be on the thing because it's like, it's not, you know, it's like because that. Because it's not Rockstar Games, it's not Rockstar North, it's not what people are yeah. used to, so they would always find a problem. They don't look at the good bits and go, this was really good what they added, and this was really good that they did. And um, all, I'm like, I mean, 343, the things that I say are the worst. <clears throat> what did you do? Oh, you're writing a checkpoint. The things that they did worse was definitely the art style and the customization when it came to your spartan in halo yeah. 4 and halo 5 after like, like you said you've come off that high of halo reach and all you've got now is a helmet and an entire bodysuit and that's what you can pick yeah. whereas reach you had shoulder pads knees wrists helmets legs shins and you could mix and match them and like, make all different styles and different variations instead of it having to be a full set so that was a big mistake on their part, and they made the same mistake in Halo 5. And even in yeah. MCC, like when they added two anniversary, it was like, just pick one suit. Yeah. Whereas now, they've learnt from their mistakes, and they're going in the right direction with the per-piece armor. The fact that they're adding all of the customization options and adding new maps now, which it's, it's just gone from being, oh, we're just going to add the Halo Reach customization to this massive, massive change of pace for the MCC. And it gives me a bit of hope for Infinite because I think they're learning from their mistakes over the last couple of games. And they're actually listening to the fan feedback now. They're flighting everything, they're giving everything a beta before it even comes out. I mean, they delayed Infinite yeah. an entire year because it looked like garbage. Well, and it now didn't... it looks so good. Listen here, if that if it had released on on Xbox 360 with that with those graphics, it would look good. So, like, this is to people who aren't part of the gaming community. Yes, yes. that... The people, the people whose last game they played was a taught was Atari or was a Nintendo or was GameCube. That is, or maybe the only game they ever played was that. But you know that that is immensely beautiful. That's like a, that's like a, a three thousand steps up because it is. The thing about it is, is that that game is looking looking like it it, it released on Xbox uh, One original using the hardware to its hardest. Uh, uh, you know, extent. To me, when you look at it, it looks like a late um, Xbox 360 game when they first announced it. Oh, like, still to this day, fuck. you donut. Still to this day, Halo 3 graphically looks better than Halo 5 does. And Halo 3 came out 14 That's because years of ago. the lighting. 
and and the consistent art style. The consistent art style. I mean, even Halo 4 looks more polished, and that was a 360 game. Halo 4 looks. I know the art style changed, and there was that problem. But when you look at the graphic fidelity, it just looks a lot more finished. It looks a lot sharper, and all the textures yeah. aren't all messed up in Halo 4. Whereas in Halo 5, there's such a big mishmash of textures and weapon camos, and they implemented weapons from previous Halo games and didn't like match them up to the textures of Halo 5. So. The CE Magnum was thrown in there, and it literally has not changed from the CE Magnum. Yeah, a lot of people are, are like, well, it's just cosmetic. Well, I'm kind of with late night gaming here. Cosmetics matter. They, it, yeah. it needs to, if, if, you're, if the design language of your game is being interrupted constantly by bright pink Mountain Dew uh, advertisements on your fucking, uh, on, on the character you're killing or, your, or on your character, it, it just, what the, what the fuck? Oh, you fucking dumb man. I thought you were going to stick yourself in. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm just I'm just shocked that that grenade bounced off the fucking hunter. <laughs> yeah, the, and it's like it's like it gained more momentum when it hit him. Cortana to Echo 419. We've reached the gravity lift and are ready for reinforcements. Damn. Okay, let's see if we can do this part. Oh, dear. How long have we been here? About a half an hour? Once we're inside the ship, I can help uh, I don't know, actually. How long have we been here? We've been, here? been here for 27 Probably minutes. In or near yes, the about half an hour. So we're we're practically pass. halfway through, people. Yeah. Practically. Because I'm sure... Isn't this the part where they have to clear the LZ? We already cleared And they it. drop out forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually. Armor. Weaponry. Need that. But no, yeah, I think, like, like to, to summarize, I think you definitely hit the nail on the head there where cosmetics do matter. Like, they do matter. If you're playing a game, you need your cosmetics to be consistent with your art style. Like, I mean, you look at Borderlands. Imagine if you were playing Borderlands with that art style and, and you brought in a gun from, let's say, let's say Halo. You bring in the battle rifle, exactly how it looks in Halo 4 or Halo yeah. 5. Like, it's just going to stick out like a sore thumb and not be aesthetically pleasing and look like poop. Yeah, it doesn't have that, um, what's it called, cell shading, I think is what it's called. Yeah, the cell shading, it doesn't have, like, the, the outlines, like, like, the comic book yeah. outlines and things like that. Like, Borderlands is designed to look, it looks gorgeous, but it's its own unique art style, and there's only a handful of games that have managed to pull that art style off. Yeah. And what Halo 4 and 5 did, they really, I mean, Halo 5 kind of went more cartoonified when I look at it because everything's really smooth and shiny and plasticky. And Halo 4 was like a mix between the old art style and what they have now because even like the. Um, yeah, the, I think they uh, the, changed the a bit. The suit looks crap as well. I think they, like wearing yeah. snake skin. I think they changed a bit too much, a bit too drastically. Yeah, then if they was going to do an art, art, art change. They should have made it a gradual process. Yeah, to 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 uh, now part now they could have justified it a lot better with the things that that hadn't been on the forward unto dawn. Like, oh, the new this is the new ship type for frigates uh, among the UNSC. It's been four years, and it's like, yeah. oh, that that makes sense. But but they retroactively changed things, which I think was their biggest issue. It's harder for you to swallow that the that the uh, that the forward unto dawn, which looked like this in the last game now suddenly looks like a tube it's yeah exactly it's um it's one thing i think, I think the, the biggest thing that annoyed people and confused people is how they changed chief's armor so drastically and it's like they didn't give any good explanation apart from oh, yeah no, and, it, and you had to go out of the game to get the explanation and the explanation yeah. was contrived yeah, exactly. If they'd have put like even just one of them like audio logs or something explaining what how the suit had evolved or something, then you would have gone, okay, you're more accepting yeah. it. Within the game, it would make sense. You would be more accepting of it. But the fact that you had to go out of your way to look it online and wait for 343 to kind of give you that um, <clears throat> explanation going, yeah, listen, what it actually is, <laughs> is uh, these nanobots or whatever. And that's what's happened while he's been in cryo for four years or whatever. Was, yeah. that, was it four years that he was in? He four was years, in, ten like, months, seven days. Uh, four, year, four years, seven months, ten days. Oh, four years, seven months, ten days. That's it. That's how long he was in. So in four years, seven months, and ten days, his suit has drastically changed, and Cortana has 
suddenly got like a badonka donka of an ass. Yeah. And has completely changed like she, her art direction. She she well. went from she went from Vista to Vista to ten. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Her ass I mean, updated its updated its uh, operating system. Yeah, like it's it's insane. Yeah, the difference is insane. But I mean, if yeah, people are like, well, well, Cortana looks different. Yeah, with, with, with Cortana, people can say, well, Cortana looked different game to game. Like, yes, she did. Yeah, yes, she, she always did. evolved, but again, she was an AI. So it's kind of different. What is From this? Program, you can kind of get away with what is software this update. piercer? Oh, it's a Mola. It's a um, is it a Mola pistol? It it's it, it has six shots. Ooh, it's got ricochet. Hey, yeah, it looks to be a spiker. Make a spiker pistol. Oh, very nice. Beep, 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 beep. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Let's, let's see if this is uh, worth it. Yeah, oh my God, it is. Or else I. Yeah, no, I think. Uh... Cortana it could have been easily explained. Firmware updates and software updates. She's an AI. She's artificial intelligence. You can get away with that. Also, she's <laughs> rampant, so she's making decisions that aren't necessarily uh, Wait, of, yep. that's the of importance. There. She's like, well, I think I look better like this. You know, first off. Yeah, all, she, all, all, she, all she's done is go on there and go, you know what, I want a boob job. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make much sense because she's... To her, she's kind of going her, rampant. Yeah, she's going rampant and she knows that. She can feel it. But the only thing that I do disagree with is I don't like how, like, obviously, yeah, you've got the explanation for it, but I do not like the way that she is in Halo 5. I don't like her design. She just looks. Yeah, giving her a weird. suit was a bit weird. I mean, it, 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 it just make, it makes her look too human. Because, you know, it's, it's yeah, that's like... what I thought. She's still supposed to be an artificial intelligence. And she just went from Halo Three being an artificial intelligence, all this binary code running. Yeah, that was one of the that was one of the oppositions people had to the anniversary graphics on Halo Two because they made Cortana's body basically a suit. It's like, it, okay, listen here, it's acceptable and it, that that her body because I guess they were just like, oh, we don't like her being naked. She's not naked. She's not. She doesn't have uh, organs. She doesn't. Yeah, it's like she's an AI, mate. Right? Like, yeah, and put, put your dick. And, and it works. Now, now it's also now you could now if they had said like, oh, she's based off of this person in history. There are AI in the game in the in the lore that that are that they're based off of uh, like historical <laughs> figures, and they look exactly like them. They got the clothes and they got everything. The thing is, is that Cortana's not that. She's unique. She's created by. And given her she's own her personality, own yeah, she's, she's the not one based. AI that the is only thing after she's, Halsey. yeah, the the only thing she's based off of in some capacity is Halsey. Yeah. yeah. It just seems very weird <clears throat> that three four three made the change that they did, but they've learnt their lesson. They're going back on it now, which is good. Better late than never, in my Ooh, opinion. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. And I think that people need to just give them a, give them another chance. The fuck are you eating, my guy? Oh yeah, I'm eating a biscuit. Do you want me to crunch in my ASMR? Are you want some? No, don't, don't do that. Please stop. Just start going. And stop it. Cease. Cease your actions. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd recommend checkpointing. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> this place. Anyway, we've been rambling for 40 minutes. Let's talk about SPV3. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about... So, what do you what do you think that 343 could learn from SPV3? And what do you I think, think SPV3 think... could learn from its its shortcomings? So, 343 as a whole, <laughs> like, when it comes... Okay, I'm still eating. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, yeah. No, but um, in all reality, he doesn't think playing... I'm—he doesn't think I'm important enough. No, okay. come on, don't be stupid. I'm just fat. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, but on, on on a completely serious note, when you uh, that question that you asked there about what three four three could learn from like SPV three, that is that change is good so long as it is implemented correctly because this is Halo Combat yeah. Evolved and. They managed to, with this modding team and this mod in general, implement so many cool things, so many things that make sense, that fit in the sandbox. And they managed to do it without pissing people off. And they've actually managed to keep the designs as they were. Like, they brought the focus rifle from Reach yeah. into CE. Like, the CE weaponry is completely different, but they've managed to make it work. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. 
And I think 343 can learn from that with their uh, sandbox, hopefully an infinite, they've uh, done that. And they could also, like, understand that so long as you give a good enough explanation and you have some form of law, some form of backstory, you can do anything you want and people will be happy so long as you give them an explanation as to why that thing's happened. Yeah, and it has to be a satisfying explanation and the delivery is also important because just having exposition dumps is not satisfying. No, it has to make sense, of course, yes. Yeah. And I think, as well as that, I think the firefight mode in SPV3 is really good. It's very diverse. Don't get me wrong, it has, it's only got two maps currently, but they're planning on adding more and other game modes to it as well. And I think to think that this team of modders did a better job with Firefight than 343 did in Halo 5. Because they gave you uh, Spartans versus Covenant, Spartans versus Flood, and I think they're adding Spartans versus Prometheans as well soon. Yeah. So you're going to get all this, uh, those, just those three things. The way they can separate that, the fact that you can go right. Boom, here's three different game modes, pick a map, and then select how you want to play Firefight. Do you want it to be endless wave? Do you want it to be like typical Firefight rules? Like, they can really take a look at that and branch off of that in their game. Giving yeah. credit to the people that did SPV 3.3, of course. I think his name um, is Masters and his development team. Yeah, I think, yeah, something like that. But, you know, I don't know everyone. Day, well, when we complete the game, we'll be able to, when we complete the game, we'll be able to credit them. Oh, yeah. I just think, okay. I think they can definitely learn a hell of a lot if what if their like development team sat down and played through this, with all the additions, the, the fact that there are weapon variations, and there are issues with SPV3, like you know there are, oh, yeah, there are potential issues. It's, yeah. it's a mod. There are there are always going to be issues. Yeah, and they're not just they're just they're, there's some balancing issues like the fact that you know the SMG uh, like the the assault rifle seems like it doesn't really know where it's where it wants to be, and that's. Mm -hmm. Because of the SMG and because of the uh, uh, because of the BR, it doesn't really have a position, um, which is I think is why there's three di like three different versions of the uh, thing. Correct? There's three different versions of the AR. There are. What I'm saying is three different versions of the AR. You've got your standard AR, and you've got the AR where when you aim down sight, it fires single more powerful shots, a bit like the light rifle did in Halo Four. Um, and then you've got the one that, as you shoot, it slowly increases its fire rate and it has 60 rounds in it in the magazine. So they've all got different magazine sizes and all got different, um, like, characteristics. Yeah. And I think they've got the, they've got two variants of the BMR, uh, BMR? Fuck yeah. BR. And then they've got the, your standard DMR, which they managed to implement very well and it looks very nice. <clears throat> and does the job, does what it's all in. They managed to add different variants of the Covenant weapons, and from what I, I see, it's like they've kind of taken a inspiration from the Banished in SPV3, because they're red, like, like you've got the, 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 the needle that glows orangey red, you've got the red plasma pistol, you've got the brute plasma rifle, which has been in Halo, obviously, since Halo 3. I might have been Halo 2, sorry, I'm not talking crap there. Um, but you've got yeah. all these weapons, and they're showing that with just literally a tweak in the colouring, and like change, like change its performance, its characteristics, and you've got an entirely different weapon. Yeah. You don't need these rep variants where it's like fucking crazy, like change the camo on it and then it like it sends explosive rounds and shit. Like it doesn't need to be that that over the top. I it's think Halo Online. Difference. I think Halo Online did a real good job at that. At which you know, let's let's refer to, to that back. Um, the in Halo Online there was like four different versions of every weapon. There was damage based versions, there was accuracy versions, there was fire rate versions, and there was there like there was uh there were there was ver like uh, four different versions of the SMG, four different versions of the AR, four different versions of the DMR, four different versions of the BR, all with their own unique sort of spin on the DMR, AR, pistol. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think, well, I personally didn't play Halo Online or El Dorito because at the time I didn't have a PC to game on. It was just like a PC for doing schoolwork and stuff. It was a little yeah. like one of those small Dell towers, the really like mini PCs. And it couldn't really perform in that sense. And this is way before I even contemplated starting YouTube. 
and streaming. And I'd heard of this Halo Online. And I was like, oh, I'd love to play Halo on PC because I was always like, FPS is always going to be better with a mouse and keyboard. I mean, that's just yeah. kind of how it is. Personally, I love playing um, FPS with mouse and keyboard. But uh, MCC, it's just a, like, unless I'm playing CE or 2 Classic, I can't really play it on PC. So it's kind of difficult to, to be able to explore 3 and 4 and, like, and Breach as well on PC. But being able to play SPV3, it's kind of like I'm getting a mishmash and conglomeration of all of those games together. A bit like how Halo Online did it, but in a single player variant. That That's literally what I can say about SPV. Yeah. Like it's, to me, it's like what Halo Online did, but in a single player variation. Yeah. So you're getting all these different types of weapons. I mean, like the pistol you're holding now. Never even been seen in any Halo game. They just made that off their own backs. Yeah. So it, it just goes to show that even people that aren't part of the Halo team and whatever can come up with these really good ideas of weapons are actually useful and they're not stupid. I mean, yeah. let's be real, all the Promethean weaponry in Halo 4 was, uh, was besides the scatter shot and the binary rifle, the rest of them were terrible. Yeah. The suppressor was weak and it had terrible range. You had the light rifle, which was just a battle rifle that shot orange lasers and didn't really give you any benefit to use it, so no one used it. Uh, the bolt shot was just a shotgun that was smaller and with less range. And then you had the... well, the scatter shot was extremely good and the binary rifle was extremely good. But when they changed those weapons in Halo 5, they then made the binary rifle terrible. And then they made the scatter shot just weaker, and the scatter yeah. shot was fine. Like, I think the weapon balancing in Halo Four was a lot better than Halo Five by yeah. a mile. Like Halo Five, the only gun that anyone uses is the Magnum or the DMR if they can find one. The BR got nerfed, the assault rifle got nerfed. Um, unless you obtain a power weapon, you're not going to really get anywhere unless you have the Magnum. Whereas yeah. when you play, I mean, like SPV3, for example. Yes, there are some balancing issues, but at least every weapon has its use. Yeah. Like, the the assault rifles use for medium to close range. BR and DMR, long range, they're effective in those respective categories. Like, this pistol you're holding seems to be pretty good at long range, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Though it's... And... rate of fire is shit. Oh yeah, the rate of fire will be shit, but it's like having a hand cannon from Destiny, that's all it is. Yeah, good point! It is like a hand cannon. I didn't think about that comparison. Hmm. Yeah, I think like when when you look at it, I think yeah, you can take down a, an elite in them. two headshots with this pistol. It's basically like a, a short range, like yeah, like you said, a hand cannon. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what the developers of SPV3 did as well. Was take some inspiration from Bungie's new game and kind of made a mishmash of what 343 did right and what Bungie did right and put it in one game. <clears throat> so I think, if I'm being honest, 343 should just polish up SPV3 and release it. There you go. Done. Yeah. Publish Here's out. Halo, Halo non-infinite. Halo ninfinite. Halo wow, infinite. one shot to the hand with this thing kills a jackal. Beautiful stuff, isn't it? Test it against the hunter. Yes, good idea. That's not... I didn't intend to do this. I don't think you understand, you don't have a choice. Oh, come on. The weak spot on the Hunters has gotten much smaller. Yeah, they've added more armor to it. Okay, two shots to the back. Wow. Took down a Hunter. Where's the other one? Uh, check behind you. Yeah, I think he's is he dead. Where is he? There he is. Sneaky little bastard for how big he is. I was gonna say, he ain't a fucking little bastard, is he? Ooh. Got him. Look at that. That was much better than the last time I interacted with these fucks. Oh, I remember, mate. We were sat here for a long time, you trying to kill them. Yeah. 
Where do we go? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Where do we go? Where do we go now? Where do, Where we, do go we go now? now? The door is open. Aye, aye, Everyone should move through now. Where do we go I can't guarantee that Master it won't lock again. Chief, when where do we go? <laughs> the guy was on his way Clock. to his lunch. He was on the way yeah. to his lunch break and he got fucking clocked. It's that one guy that's always happy at work, even though he should be a miserable fucker. And he's yeah. like, I'm going to eat a sandwich and bop your shot in the face. Bop. Ooh. There's the cheeky little camo boy. Where the Better fuck did that grenade come from? One of my, one of my ODSTs. Jesus. I shit nice. I shit myself. Nice. <laughs> when, I, when my friends aren't around, I just finger blast myself. Nice. <clears throat> I'm really hoping that. In Infinite, all they're gonna do is take what they've got here and make it all red. Like yeah, make red. it all of it red. Just make it blood. You're a very simple red. man. I know, but to be honest, what more can you do with it? It's so they're just a, a, like an offspring of the Covenant, of the Banished. It also seems to be a bit, a bit of, of a day, fracking just, on like, this pistol. Off. Yeah, it's like the bolt shot isn't Halo Five. From a certain range, it follows them. Actually, that's an interesting question I've got for you. What? What do you think will be the direction of the Prometheans in Halo Infinite? Do you think they'll actually be there? I, I think they'll think be sidelined. Be I think they'll, they'll either A, be sidelined to be, uh, you know, you, like, very rarely seen, uh, like, on sec certain sections of the ring. They either, they'll have, like, maybe have, like, two or three uh, mainline uh, missions that, it, that, you know, feature them. Other than that, I think the primary enemy will be the Banished, and, you know, if they have the balls, they might go to featuring the Flood. Oh, I, I hope that they go to featuring the Flood. I'd enjoy that, because we haven't really seen the Flood properly in a while. But, I'm worried that they're gonna... Because the Prometheans is an enemy that they kind of designed them, like... Yeah, it's they, their baby. They, they, yeah. they, they did design, like, like I said, it's, like, it's their kind of baby, that was their thing. For them to give that up is going to be difficult, but at the same time, they did also, technically speaking, create the Banished. Yeah. So, it's like, it's their new baby, because the Prometheans, I hate fighting Prometheans. That was the one big complaint I had about Halo 4 and 5. Like, when hated you fight fighting Covenant, Prometheans. it was great. Yeah, the Prometheans were Prometheans kind of underwhelming. I mean, the first time I played them, they were kind of scary, because it's like, oh no. Apparently, uh, scary for the sake, because of the sake that I, I hadn't seen them. Or, you know, I was like, oh no. Yeah, exactly. You you kind of you kind of taken taken back by it. You go, oh shit, okay. Like when 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 a knight like he's just like a, an elite on steroids, yeah, built out of steel. So like, okay, like you can get behind it. But yeah, once... the problem is, it was when they started getting to the point where you could not kill them unless you only hit their weak spots. It's not like with Covenant where you could just spray them and mow them down. Yeah. You're not very good at this game, are you? Never said I was. Actually, People, I believe lying. I said he the said exact said opposite. This, you did this the last time we recorded. You you need to stop make trying to make this a thing. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll stop making it a reoccurring theme. But he did say he was very, very good at the game. That was too easy. That, that was completely unsatisfying of a stick. That was nice. Ooh. So I like the sound of this gun, mate. Yeah. Have you, seen those, have you seen those videos I sent you of the guy who like, des redesigned or designed banished weapons? Uh, yeah, I think so. You said they bungified him. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. I said that he basically created a new uh, subset of weapons. They're real. They're really, really interesting. He created sounds for them, aesthetic like models. Oh, that video. Yeah. Oh yeah, you sent me that a while ago now, but now I know which one you're referring to because I don't know if it was you that sent me the ones about someone bungifying three four three weapons as well or something. That I also sent that one. That was the uh, marine ones. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, really no, bungifying. Was it was more like mixing the two art styles. Mm. No, no, there's there's a lot of like, creative people out there that really do some cool stuff. Ooh, interesting. Now. Interesting thing now. Apparently, the light infantry NPCs can uh, now fire, can now melee. 
What, in SPV? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I don't think I've ever seen any light infantry in Halo ever for a punch. Yeah, like grunts and jackals. I only have mm. one ODST left alive. I'm a bad dad. I'm a terrible father. It's just you. <laughs> no, there's one other guy. There he is. No, I'm saying he's you. He's an Oh, yeah, it's me. You. He's me. He's gonna fucking die. <laughs> yeah, you uh, know that before before you get to the end of this mission, he is going to be on the slab. Yeah, he's, he's dead. He's gonna be on a slab. Yeah. Yeah, he's done, mate. And if he doesn't die before the end, you have to kill him. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, what? No. Wait a minute. Yeah. I didn't agree to this. I did not agree with, I did not agree to this. Oh, only four ammo left? Fuck. Make these shots oh, count. Hello. Make them count immediately misses. Yeah, make them count misses all three shots. Okay. Oh, oh you're fucked. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, glad you put a fucking checkpoint there, Jesus. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, let the ODST go in there and go ham, kill them all, and then you just follow him through. Just got grenaded again. Oh, for fuck! Really? How? How the hell did that not stick to him? Last four shots. You got him, you're good, you're good, you're good. No. Shield strength is up. See, I was backing you there and you're still useless. Really? <laughs> <laughs> now you good, you got him, you got him, and you're dead. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh, good grenade. Can't see. Oh, yeah, that's so it. You got your shield down now. That's it. Pop him in the head. Good okay. job. Save scum. Yep. No grenades. Look at you dodging and weaving and strafing like your Captain Price. Are any grenades back here? Please tell me there's grenades. Please, come on. Grenades, 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 grenades. I picked up two fragmentation grenades. Frag's better than nothing. Go on, pal. Oh, for yes. fuck's sake, really? Did he just scream, I can't see? I think he did. Open your goddamn eyes, fool! Really? This Back here. Like the the captain's transponder signal is strong. We must be close. <laughs> did you just throw the grunt like the banish to him? Yeah, be careful. Ooh, you're gonna... I told you he was gonna end up shooting that ODST. Fuck is this son of a bitch? There he is. Fucking running around all over the damn place. Lovely stuff. Fuck out of here. I'm not dealing with that shit right now. At least I didn't put suicide grunts in SPV3, because that would have annoyed me. Uh oh. What have we done? It would seem I kinda Oh, I pressed some sort of there we go. I uh, entered the uh what it, what appears to be the dev uh the dev console. Oh I did that when I was playing as well, but I don't know how I did it. You pressed the tilde key. Oh, right, okay. Right above tab. Oh, that one. Yeah, because I have an American keyboard, so I know what you mean. 
I didn't know there was a difference between a European and American English keyboard. Yeah, there is. There's a um, <clears throat> they, they've the location of the at sign and the quotation marks and things so the, that are all different. And the at sign. We just combine the at sign into one of the number keys. Yeah, see, with us in Europe, it's next to the enter key. You have to hold shift on and then press the button next to the enter key. That's weird. Yeah, because I bought this keyboard. I was like, oh, it's QWERTY. And I was like, that, 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 that'll do. It's, it's a nice mechanical keyboard with like RGB and all that. All the stuff that you need to be a pro gamer. Pro like gamer boys. And myself and Dapper Helljumper, you have to have RGB keyboards to be good at gaming. Yeah. Um, that was our tip of the day. <laughs> and uh, I received I do not, it. And I do I not put it second up. that. I think they, uh... He does not condone this message. It's my yeah. message. You need more lights. Um, <laughs> and when I received it, I was like, okay, I'll put it, put my computer to English UK, like, like I do, like my language. And um, none of the commands were working. I was going, what the hell's going on? Why is nothing working? And I put it to US, and I was like, oh, that's why. So I had to like mix and match. I've confused it all now. So now I've just had to use muscle memory to know where it is and put it in UK, even though the key bindings are all wrong. It's weird. I didn't realize there was any difference. There's only about three or four different things to change. Where's the Invisid Dick? Hey, Invisid Dick, where are you? There you are. See, that's the thing that they messed up in Halo 5. When they're invisible, they are proper invisible. Yeah. That was amazing, sir! You really kicked the sh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that boy. Look at him. Look at that T pole with my guy. Reckless. You two know better than this. Thanks. His mouth isn't moving. <laughs> Marines. There it is. Nah, never weapons. Let's be ready to move. Okay, yes, sir. Let's listen to the spiel. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards <laughs> talking about this. Room. My bird just squacked. They call it. Squacked. Hey, squacked. One moment, sir. Accessing the Covenant battle net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon. One with I love how it's just like he just stands there as an earlier team, just like, yeah, I've got a focus rifle in my hand, but I wasn't using one earlier. Covenant kept saying yeah. Whoever controls Halo controls Good old scripted cutscenes, you gotta love them. Also, yeah, he's saying controls the fate of the universe. It's like, it, it was so 90s, sort of like, everything is on the line. It's this one ring. And then later on, they were like, well, they and they didn't have to retroactively change anything to add in the other rings. It's like, that's, no. it's another Halo. Or say what? Yeah, they kind of went weird with that. That was in Halo 2, wasn't it? So there's, oh, that, that, there's another one. Yeah. Another one. And then Halo 3. Oh, it turns out there's another 70 of them. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's another 70? There's another five. There's five. Oh, there's five. Yes, sir. Where was it? I saw there was. Oh, no, it might have been a memes, and then there were 74. I thought, what? <laughs> yeah. Head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac. That was easy. The uh, cavalry has a right. That, for fuck's that, sake, you just run in front of my hell? damn gun. He can certainly. Are you kidding me? His own team. Just die. Well, legend. It's him in the face. He doesn't deserve to live anyway. Oh, look at that. So what, the brute shot is one of those guns that I'm looking forward to using again. I've missed using that gun. Underrated as hell when Halo 3 was around, but mate, I missed the brute shot. It was great for for uh, shot jumping. Oh, yeah, it was brilliant for that. I'm still putting my money on weapon customization being a thing in Halo Infinite. I don't think they'll do that. Or at least not they will. multiplayer. No, I reckon for the campaign they will. People would... It'd be too much of a of a trend following. Oh, I don't want following. that. Like, they, they, they did the, it. They Call of Duty Gunsmith, my guy, that, that thing that gives... No, I don't want a Gunsmith. I don't want that shit. No, no, no. I just want... No, I want what Halo 4 had without the perks. Oh, That's you mean loadouts? Yeah, loadouts. Like, when I say weapon customization, I mean weapon skins, cosmetic designs. I'm not saying, like, things like that, because what I'm saying is, you look... I'm not sure if you've seen the video on my channel, because I posted it a while ago now. 
Um, and mm. it was basically saying that they're using Warzone in Halo 5 as like the guinea pig for weapon customization because there were different sights and things like that on different variations of the assault rifle, the battle rifle, uh, yeah. the SMG, and the DMR. And so I said, well, this could be why they're implementing all these different variants and all these different, like, um, well, yeah, different variants, different variations of the main weapons that you use is because they might be trying to do that in Infinite, and that's why they're experimenting with Halo 5, because it's an old game now, six years old. They're like, what okay, the we, can, we can fuck about. Why are there so many invisibles? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. God, you got him there. I think that they will add some form of like loadout customization, but I don't know how they're going to do it. We made it. Cortana to Echo well, I, I, I do. We They'll do the it like, like, like Destiny. I think they're taking it. a lot of things out of Destiny. Negative, but... Cortana, I've been yeah, by air and I'm Looking at the way it was on that July demo, where you had a database, you had a map, and you had your Sorry. missions. And then you had. Um, they've done the database. They've done the database before. Remember, uh, Halo Combat of all the anniversary of all the anniversary. The original disc actually had a like a database uh, section where uh, that kind of helped you to connect. You said connect, scan environment, or something like that, and it would scan the the thing you're looking at. It was it was uh, just kind of a fun level of interactivity. Now it involved the connect, which was kind of stupid, but eh. I'm, yeah, but I'm more forgiving. I'm more forgiving on the connect than most. I liked the Kinect on the Xbox One because it meant I didn't have to pick up my controller off the time. It was great. I was like, Xbox, could you uh, play Netflix because I'm a lazy bastard? Now there's nothing fucking good on Netflix. It's just like, oh, we got rid of all the Pirates of the Caribbean, well, the Harry Potter. It's, it's, it's just it's, Bollywood. Yeah. It's Bollywood now. Everything's Bollywood. Well, I, I found out why they got rid of all the Harry Potters, and that's because HBO bought it out. Oh, yeah. HBO were developing a TV series on Harry Potter. So they bought, they bought all the rights to it. So all the movies are on HBO now. That that show's gonna suck. It will if it's done by HBO. If it was done by Netflix, it'd be good like The Witcher, but no. No, I think Netflix, like Netflix, a good Netflix special is a special series is a, more of a rarity. Well, I, I like The Witcher. The Witcher did good. The Witcher was good. I'm not saying it wasn't. I'm saying it's a I'm rarity. Worried, I'm not saying it I'm never happened. I'm worried about the Halo show. I'm worried about Halo with Paramount. Yeah. I mean, they Paramount have been responsible for. A lot of sci-fi stuff, like Defiance, Star Trek, and things like that. But there's something worrying me about this because it's been delayed again, um, and pe people think it's like it's like current news. But this TV show has been in development since like 2015, after Nightfall. So it's like we're now doing a live-action TV series. It's been six yeah. years. It's now only seven years. How sad is it that Nightfall is the only live-action TV uh, uh, content that, that Halo really has? Well, besides uh, the Forward Unto Dawn. Forward Unto Dawn was alright. I'm not saying it wasn't. Was I was saying bit, it was just a bit boring. I felt like Nightfall. It was like just three episodes. again. I think the like, idea. Like, I think like, the like, idea like, of like of like insane like Gullah worms is pretty cool. Oh well, yeah, but I didn't like the fact that it was Halo Nightfall. And the, the only reason they released it was to try and get you to see who Spartan Lock was as a character before playing the game. Yeah, you from that, has to, be, that has to be done Lock. in the game. Yeah, all these things should be done in the game, not in a live-action series that's five episodes long. Away well, from I the think game. this is the end of the mission. That is an hour and four Actually, minutes. The dropship is loose. Oh, oh. at the end! Everybody, yeah. Up. Let's get on board. I'll tell you what. Captain. The last you time, it felt way longer. It's because it was. <laughs> it was an hour and thirty. Oh bloody hell! Is that a new? Is that a new personal best? Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone, get the camera out here. Brother. Get the cat. Oh, oh no! It's not get the, the camera. It's not the end yet, is it? Okay, well, hold on to your butts, people. Hold on to your butts. Uh... Nice one, sir. Time what do you want to say? He says in CE at the beginning. Your ass is, and that's like your butt. It's like, bro, since when were you PG? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was it? That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for you for having uh, yourself here, uh, for gracing me with your presence. In all honesty, the pleasure is mine, one hundred percent. It's the least I can do. I have sounded like a bit of a douchebag, but I'm actually a nice guy, so it's all right. He he sucks, but anyway, <laughs> if you all. If you all enjoyed this playthrough, please uh, please click the like button if you liked it. Click the dislike if you didn't like it. 
And, uh, you know, go check out 40. I'll put his link, I'll put a link to his channel in the, in the description. But if, you, if I forget to do that, and you're, and, or you decide to do it later and you're not on the video, just look, type in 40 Halo. He should be the first channel that comes up. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me on the channel. And uh, good luck with the rest of your playthrough, because looking at your current playing style, you're, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I know, I am. <laughs> no, nah, I'm messing with you, Bob, but no, yeah. honestly. You don't want to say no, it's been a pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. And I, I've been very happy for the content you've allowed me to create, just talking with you, talking about some good, some well, very interesting this stuff. This whole episode yeah. has been a bit of a... I, I've, I've done a bit of a you, I've kind of just rambled. Yeah. Rambling uh, is a good way to, nice. to get your thoughts out into the open, to articulate them better for later. Also, or, especially, or, or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, especially with someone else who understands what you're talking about, so... Yeah. But in any case, any case, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Farewell.